it's estimated that over 600 South Africans play professional rugby abroad. And a favorite destination lies here, between Venice and the Alps, in a 2,000-year-old community who've been national rugby champions 15 times. This town of Treviso has the highest concentration of South African rugby players in Italy. You're bound to bump into one at any time. Look at that. Oui, hello. How, how are you? How are you? <laughs> Very good, thanks. I see you're getting quite accustomed to the lifestyle here. Yes, it is, as a matter of fact. In Italy, you're trying to stay away from cars as much as possible, so everywhere you can, you use your bike, or as you can see around, everyone is walking, everyone. especially in town, because um, you have to have a permit to get in here, so you can't just get in your car and get over here, so it's much easier on the bike. Sure, they make them quite tall in South Africa. You're massive. Well, I'm sort of tall, I'm two meters, but uh, I would say the average player or the average African that plays rugby is more or less there, give or take a little bit, a little bit less. But taller than the Italians? Yeah, on average, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love you to take me around. Born in Schumannsdorp, Jaco Erasmus has three test caps for Italy, and along with his line-out calls, he's learning a fair bit of local history. See this building here, it's called Piazza del Trecento. Okay. And as you can see there, there's a little line there. Yeah. What that means is, um, in the Second World War, the building got bombed. And the bottom part here is the original, and the top part there got blown up to pieces. And then uh, what the Italians did to keep the culture, they kept the bottom part as the original, and the top part they rebuilt it all over, trying to get as close as possible to the original. That's great heritage, actually. <laughs> yeah, they're very proud of their heritage. Uh, that's why there's more, more often you can see also around the buildings. They're trying to keep everything as they were mm. and then just trying to touch it up where they can just to keep it as much as they can in the original state. Awesome. Now that we're eye to eye, getting back to you, when you came to the city, you were quite young, 22. Yes, I was. Was it love at first sight? You can say yes, because basically all South Africans, they always got this thing about Italy. So to come over here in Italy, you have an opportunity to work, play rugby, which is a nice thing, and see a new country, especially Italy, you really, really quickly it grows onto you, so yes. Throw a ball around here and you will hit a South African, like ex Borland player Paula Rue and former Sharks under-21 captain Maya Swanepoel. I can see how you gentlemen love it here. This town Treviso is really beautiful. Maya, you've been here for about a month now. I did stay for two years outside in a small place called Mugliano. So I actually played against uh, the team that Paula coached. Uh, I never lost against him. So, uh, <laughs> and the competition that's bad news. Come on, true, true story. Um, oh, so, game, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. So I've been here for a month, but yeah, you can just, as you can see, you can't not like this place. How are you both adapting to this beautiful Italian way of life? I think if you ever think about Italy and the lifestyle, this is what you imagine, and uh, it's awesome. I mean, I live just down the road, so I, in the morning walk, I go to a bar, go to a restaurant, go to a coffee shop have your breakfast, you become a local, so it's very, very nice. I think the Italians open up uh, when you start speaking their language, and uh, so um, they're very friendly, take you into the houses, and uh, they actually want you to live their lifestyle. So, Paula, you've been here 14 years, two years, give me your best Italian. Allora, speriamo bene per la prossima due anni, che sono anche leggibile, tra un po' di mesi, allora vediamo. Quindi speriamo bene che ti chiamano forse per la squadra italiana, speriamo. nazionale. Speriamo, in bocca al lupo. If I didn't know any better, I'd honestly think that you guys were Italians. Yes, yes. cheers. <laughs> cheers. Their tastes have adapted too, from Malva pudding to Treviso's famed tiramisu. And when they're missing Cook Sisters and Leckerhut, then the chocolates of the nearby town of Padova are worth hiring a car for. Now, I absolutely love chocolate, but which one of you has the biggest sweet tooth? Yaku, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> they say so. No, uh, the, yes, I can say it is. <laughs> and you? Big, big time. I, I very much enjoy dark chocolate, so uh, big time. Uh, right? I go for that as well. The dark chocolate, is, especially on it, is very good. Let me taste this. Mm. This is like a, like a coffee. cappuccino coffee yeah, yeah. kind time. of flavor. Yeah, it's nice. It is very, very nice. Talking about diet, yeah. I've realized Italians love their food pretty similar to South Africans. Have you guys adapted to their diet? Yes, they eat um, a lot more portions, but smaller portions, but more uh, different types because they like to mix it up and change it a lot. They like eating the same thing every weekend, so they yeah. mix it up a lot. That looks good. It does That's look pretty good. good. But I've been looking nice. something else behind the scenes, May, and this is a message for you. Me and Yoko lost our hearts in Italy. So there you go. 
Purple yeah. Hoss. Oh yeah, it's, uh, seven years ago I got married to Daniela. And my wife is Italian and Yaku as well. I think I Yaku Yeah, Claudia in uh, 2006, so eight years. And kids? Well, two kids, one is three and one is seven now. May another question to you, buddy. <laughs> Have you found the Italian sweetheart? Are you looking for that traditional girl from South Africa? I think, uh, I think I'll wait and eventually go home and find myself a South African sweetheart. Well, the Italians can borrow you for a little while. Just as long as your hearts are in South Africa, I'm okay with it. <laughs> so let's have, let's have a try on South Africa. Purple chocolate for South Africa. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Following the bounce of a rugby ball can lead you to some wonderful places in life.